Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody on Facebook just posted a question. This isn't the exact file, but it gets you there. Where this line looks like it goes behind the star on two of them, and it's in front of the star on the other three. So this is kind of easily done, but it's a little bit uh, more tricky than you would think. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a rectangle or a square, I'm going to make it a rectangle, and I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete that line and that line. Now the problem is that works pretty well, but when you make this line a thicker line, you cannot hardly hide the imperfections of the, it's not perfect because it's a thicker line, the virtual segment delete key. So what you can do is let's zoom in here a little bit. And we take our rectangle and we're going to go to range and we're going to convert it to an object. It makes it quite a bit different. Now you can see we have nodes. And if you will grab one of those nodes as you hold down the control button, you can move it where it'll, well, I, I'd already grabbed the second one, so unclick it. And if by using the control button, you can't get off up and down. You're, you can only move it left and right, and you have to unclick it. So what we're trying to do is just get it on that line. Let's zoom in here a little bit more. Holding down the control button. Then letting go and grabbing that other node, and I'm holding down the control button. And what the control button is doing is keeping me from getting off this way. The control button will only let me move in a certain degree. Now you've got that done, and this object is seven and a half inches, so we're going to make it like our nudge factor nine. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to smart fill our star. I'm actually going to turn it blue. And I'm going to take our object and put it back. Now, as you can see, is everything is behind the line. But just take your star and go to arrange, order, back a page. And now it looks like these two are behind and these three are in front of the line. Pretty cool effect. Wouldn't really use it in lasering, but you could maybe if it was gray and black, but I just did it blue and red to show off better in the video. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.